Hi gorgeous! Happy Frugal Friday to you! Today's video is a wear test and application demo with the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. Had a lot of requests for this one. Perfect time of year to test it out in summer months when you don't want to wear a lot on your face but what you do wear you don't want sliding off. So in the demo today I'll show you what it looks like with a sponge and a brush in application. Wear it throughout the day. Come back at the end of the video to let you know if it's worth getting or not and if the brush or the sponge does make a difference in the longevity of this BB cream. I'm battling a horrible cold at the moment, so if you hear me cough, sneeze, sniffle, or if I sound congested, then you know why. All right, that is what the CoverGirl Matte Clean BB cream looks like, and I'll take a little bit of it out of the tube here so you can see the consistency of the product. Pretty stable, holds its shape, which is nice to see. Not runny, because I hate when a face product is runny, don't you? It's the worst for application. I'm first going to apply this on one half of my face just to see the type of coverage that we get. And you know what? I'm gonna do this test a little differently this time. I am blending in this side with a brush, and then I'll do the other side with a makeup sponge, and we'll see if either of the tools makes a difference and how this BB cream lasts and how it wears. This brush is shedding already. By the way, this is the Wet n Wild Large Stipple Brush, although it's a little patchy. Ugh, this brush is shedding. I need a new brush. All right, we're gonna go in with the Sigma, what is this one, the 3D HD Kabuki and blend. Maybe that'll make a difference. Yeah, it's not as patchy anymore. Maybe that brush was too big, too fluffy for this type of application. I think I needed a more tightly packed brush to blend this in. I'm liking the finish a lot more with a denser brush. Like the finish, it does look matte. I typically, when I use a matte claiming product, doesn't go on matte, it still looks shiny, but this is pretty matte even after initial application. And for this side, I'm gonna blend it in with one of my posh sponges. Love these things. Found them at Kmart. Really hard to find though. I even went back, looked for more of them. I was lucky I got an extra pack of them, but they're really hard to find and they're not available online, unfortunately. But I love them because they are very comparable to the Beauty Blender and cheap. I think they were $7 for a pack of two. Can't beat that. Brush, sponge. I feel like on the sponge side, the finish is more dewy, which can be expected because I did use this damp. And the brush side is more matte. And even if you feel them, this side feels more matte, whereas this side does feel more dewy. But I like the finish with either side, and we'll see if that makes a difference on how this BB cream lasts throughout the day. I am going to apply a concealer. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. Choices, choices, there's so many choices. I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer today. And why not? Let's use the same application methods that I used before. I'll use a sponge on this side to blend it in underneath the eyes, and then I'll use a brush on this side to blend it in. The brush I'm using is a smaller version of the Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. I really like these brushes. I like the angled tip to them. Well, you'll just get bonus content out of this video. We'll see if the Maybelline Fit Me wears better with a sponge or a brush. <coughs> oh, powder gets me every time, but being sick like this, it gets me even more. I'm setting the face, oily gal, gotta do it. I'm using the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder with a big fluffy brush from Icing. Hold your breath. <laughs> okay, now I can't guarantee that this is gonna stay on in this region of my face because I've been blowing my nose like crazy. So when it comes to the wear test, ignore right here. <laughs> we'll focus on every other part of the face though. I'll see you in about 10 hours. This is 10 hours later. Can you believe this? For a drugstore product? Really? Brush, sponge. And honestly, the brush side held up much better than the sponge, 
which is a first for me. Typically a sponge will hold your makeup better longer throughout the day than a brush will. But if you look closely on this side, it's shinier right in this area. Whereas on this side with the brush, it's much more matte. And if I feel both sides, this side does feel oily. Compared to this side, it does feel more matte. Following up with you on the Maybelline Fit Me concealer that we applied with the brush and the sponge, there is a difference between the two sides. If you look closely right about here, you'll see it's starting to look real cakey right there compared to this side, which is still smooth, even, no cakiness whatsoever. So there is a tremendous difference between applying that concealer with a brush and a sponge. Overall though, I have to tell you, the CoverGirl Matte BB Cream does hold up to its namesake. It stayed matte, at least when you apply it with a brush well throughout the day. I mean, 10 hours? What? That is awesome. Two thumbs up, highly recommended. If it's one that you have been considering, consider no more. It is an excellent BB cream, especially for the summer months. Let me know if you've tried this out, what you think about it, or what your thoughts are on it based off of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Frugal Fridays in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great weekend.